to my channel, Coin Lady, and thank you for returning. Let's get into XRP. First things first, the digital rupee had a whopping 9% growth in just three months when Indus IND Bank was implemented as an offline CBDC solution. An important Ripple partner, Indus and Bank links China, India, and Brazil. As previously mentioned, Ripple already has many rails installed inside the BRICS. When XRP's value skyrockets, and we find out it's the BRICS using XRP, I will be overjoyed. This is from someone named Man Mika. The Fedwire Depository Institution will commence adoption on December 30, 2024. Please take note of the global alignment of trigger dates, testing certification must be completed by December 31, 2024. Payment Canada goes live on March 10, 2025, when Fedwire implements ISO 222. November 2025 marks the conclusion of RTR coexistence in 2025, which means that all ISOs for the US and Canada will be governed by them. Also, everything is falling into place in accordance with the rules. This is based on personal opinions, and you see that there is another Zoom meeting, but have a look at the participants. Every time Goldman, Sachs, Citi, or MIT host one of these private meetings or round tables, Ripple is there. Just for that reason, I just can't resist purchasing XRP dips. The source of this is smoke. Their technology is making waves, and these ads in Washington DC Union Station show it. The fact that they're in such a prominent spot shows how seriously and credibly they're taken by the financial sector. Advertising in the nation's capital is a huge step toward realizing Ripple's promise to transform the way people send and receive money. This bodes well for the company's standing among influential groups and bodes well for the widespread adoption of Ripple's cryptocurrency, XRP. Within the international monetary system, people continue to minimize XRP in the crypto industry every single day, despite the fact that Ripple ads are everywhere, in the US, the UK, and London. That tells you a lot about Ripple's global growth. Cryptocurrency is all the rage right now. Just hang in there until this cryptocurrency becomes popular. It's going to be a thrilling period, I can assure you. If we can achieve full global interoperability and a world free of pollution, as seen on the Clearinghouse's real-time payments world map, we've come a long way in a short amount of time, and it's just going to get better. Since 2019, the Clearinghouse has worked with Ripple to provide immediate payments to its customers. Approximately 70 banks have signed up, including Wells Fargo. In the time after, Ripple experienced meteoric growth. In an effort to level the playing field, they have expanded into every country in the globe and are now targeting the unbanked. This was an excellent post, in my opinion. I don't know who exactly has to hear this, but XRP and Bitcoin will be successful together. They are two sides of the same coin, one uses proof of work to monetize these tokens through actual energy production in the real world, and the other uses a consensus mechanism to convert these tokens into future energy, other currencies, tokenized assets, etc. They aren't rivals in the most efficient sense. Neither of these things is true. This is both. D included in it. Having said that, I do agree with this piece that Bitcoin is not inherently flawed. The issue is that Bitcoin is falling behind as technology progresses. Bitcoin can't become efficient without additional rails. The issue is that the technology to transfer Bitcoin to other rails platforms is also behind schedule. Michael Saylor simply released this absurdity, and it is absolutely absurd. He's gushing over Bitcoin, the European Central Bank, and everything else. However, this is exactly what Christine Lagarde stated, thus he is completely incorrect. She is essentially claiming that this was already going to happen before FTX's collapse, when the price of Bitcoin dropped to well below $16,000, and that the current situation is just an intentionally manufactured panic before the road to irrelevance begins. That is why I will never invest in Bitcoin, it's just too scary. The European Central Bank, the International Monetary Fund, and the Bank for International Settlements are all trying to lead us into the future, but they don't see Bitcoin fitting in with their plans. The BIS has issued a warning over the potential threat to emerging economies' financial stability posed by cryptocurrency, as shown below. 
The BIS suggested that local authorities think about limiting or banning certain cryptocurrency assets, or at least regulating them. It suggested that distinct rules for activity-based and entity-based regulation be put in place. It is well known that the BIS also does not see a future for Bitcoin, and now they are requesting legislation to eliminate some cryptocurrencies. Thus, they are essentially stating that Bitcoin will no longer have a place in the future once laws are in place. Truthfully, though, I do not believe Bitcoin will perish. Bitcoin, in my opinion, will remain around for a long time to come. The big spike simply won't happen. The IMF has arrived. Pay close attention to her words in this case. Cryptocurrency is distinct from fiat currency. This is the case in the cryptocurrency market. At what appears to be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for this investable asset, what does the International Monetary Fund think about cryptocurrency? Money and assets are not the same thing, in our opinion. Depending on whether it is backed up, a crypto asset class might be safer and less hazardous, or it could be unbacked, making it a riskier investment. Cryptocurrency, she stated just now, needs a foundation. According to her, it's not quite money, but it's also not nothing if it isn't backed by assets. It's more akin to a managed fund for financial management. The digital currencies issued by central banks are one example of a money system that has gone digital. Is there any way for the business world to get involved here? Absolutely, the private sector has always had a hand in the financial markets. However, we must tread carefully when informing the public about the specific bets made by the private sector, that is the only way to ensure the security of your assets. The value of XRP and XLM, two cryptocurrencies, will remain high and steady. Nothing has changed since 2018 when the IMF initially mentioned XRP and XLM as stable currencies, that is, coins that are backed by assets and can move value from A to B, and that is what we should expect going forward, according to the IMF. And that is precisely why Bitcoin will not disappear, but it will also not be significant, after all, the best World Bank and the International Monetary Fund are now in charge and they are advocating a new financial system that the United States must join or perish. Our group is certain to fall behind. Whenever individuals claim that something is coming from the European Central Bank, ECB, the World Bank, WB, the International Monetary Fund, IMF, or the World Economic Forum, WEF, they fail to acknowledge that the United States must be involved in any future developments. This is also true with crypto rules, it is for this reason that I will not invest in Bitcoin. Once utility begins to drive the price of these other cryptocurrencies, I don't think it will have run-ups like people imagine. Imagine a world where all the money from Bitcoin would rush into XRP the second it broke three figures. That's because people would trust that XRP can go even higher in price. At this moment, Bitcoin is holding all the money because people still believe in it. I'll get to the next point, but others think it will be above 100,000. The world is currently experiencing a super cycle. Be careful not to sell too soon due to emotional or illogical reasons. I think it's safe to say that this is a super cycle. In my opinion, Bitcoin is about to experience a meteoric rise. Even though I predict this upcoming run to be spectacular, I believe it will be the final significant run. Plus, regular people should get out of there as quickly as they can. And when you've amassed a substantial fortune, it's time to cash out and put your money into utility companies. Simply put, I think we've seen the last gasp. The new financial system will begin to take shape after this, in my opinion. Thank you for watching my channel and for subscribing. I'll see you later.